Hi everyone! Hi! I'm Madeleine, I'm the owner and founder of Sparkle Lifestyle and Midi Spa. And I'm Annick Poirier, registered dietitian. So today we're talking about inflammation in your skin and why inflammation actually causes um, premature aging. Mm -hmm. So there's two, uh, there's kind of two uh, reasons why that would cause aging so you have factor that would be more intrinsic so what's going on in your body and you'd have more that come from the outside so extrinsic so intrinsic would probably be just your natural aging in general so you do have like a natural thinning of your skin that's totally normal that that's what happened it's life you also have a denaturing of your collagen so we we lose um we lose the production of collagen so your body doesn't produce it the, the way it used to when you were like 20 years old unfortunately no <laughs> <laughs> and you also have like a just a natural cell loss it's totally normal um, and also like your um, between your epiderm and your derm there's like a junction so we call it like a, the dermal junction between the two and when you're young and healthy when it's everything going well that junction is actually thicker and it's more like doing like nice wave but with aging that like junction thins itself and it get more uh, like flat like it's flatter so that's 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 natural that's normal so that's why it's important to really um, look at how we can help so to we are rebuilding um, the thickness of your skin you also have like factor come from the outside and I think the most popular one would be like I think UV from the Sun like I think everybody knows now that Sun is really bad for your skin it's just change your DNA um, it, yeah, the, sm the smoking also, that's another big alcohol. one, alcohol, your diet in general. Mm -hmm. So all those factors will, um, will actually start, um, well, speed up your... Uh, accelerate. Yeah, accelerate. Thank you for your help. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> so it's going to speed up uh, your aging in general, cause pigment, loss of elasticity, um, also redness. People don't really realize, but redness, it is mm -hmm. caused by inflammation of your skin. And, I, and that's why I'm so like, um, I think inflammation, like battling inflammation of your skin is really, really important because when you're inflamed that's the natural way that your body protects itself again against something so you'll start um seeing like redness like broken capillaries because your body want to bring the blood at the surface of your skin to heal something so all the factors that i just like talked about uh usually your body want to fight it and that's that's what happened Does that makes sense that makes a lot of sense that's very interesting <laughs> Even our learning stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that inflammation of your skin—that's natural uh, process for and to to heal your your skin. So that can lead to like bigger pore size, uh, puffiness, sagging of your skin, redness, acne. Like it's all like all factors related to inflammation that we don't really think about. Yeah. So the causes of inflammation, why we're more inflamed. Uh, definitely your nutrition mm -hmm. so your nutrition just stress in general or just medical condition so can you talk a little bit about like the why your diet or how you treat your body will cause inflammation and actually like because I'm talking more like at the skin level mm -hmm. but skin is what you see right like skin is just like it's almost a reflex of what's going on in your body so you need to start by turning inter internally mm -hmm. in your body so your skin will project what's going on inside so yes i'm talking about like anti-aging of the skin and all that but when you see all that redness and inflammation and that just gives you an idea of what's going on mm -hmm. inside because so sometimes it can be ag aggressors i guess that we can do or eat every day without realizing it and that's where we want to highlight those because those may not necessarily need to be in your diet mm -hmm. uh, or at least reduce the intake of them because otherwise it's just adding fire to or gasoline to the fire. So for example, like you mentioned a few, but like caffeine, alcohol, uh, smoking. So those are lifestyle habits that we might choose to do, but those will come with a price because they will accelerate certain aging factors. Um, and then once 
whatever type of inflammation is in your body. Uh, inflammation is the source of all disease, really. Anything mm -hmm. such as diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, heart disease, arthritis, fibromyalgia, uh, asthma, leaky gut syndrome, colitis, anything of the gut, really. Um, and, and that inflammation can lead to some very serious disease over time. So we want to reduce those as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, our diets too, I find like these days are highly processed. So food in general, we want it to be closer to nature as much as possible. So to yeah. avoid like fried foods or high sugary food, these again are all f food that will, that have no really big nutrient per se. They don't have a lot of vitamins, not a lot of minerals. However, they're very high in calorie. So the calories are there, but there's nothing that your body can really use other than accumulate fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, and then the food that could help. Do you want me to talk yes. about the food yeah, that help? Yeah. So some of the food that maybe can help fight off um, or reduce the inflammation. Um, first go-to would be any green leafy vegetables. Yes. Yes. Those ones are, <laughs> are, it's crazy. So any green vegetable, you're, you're good to go. Yeah, they're full of antioxidant. They're just good for you. They, Fiber, yeah. they give you good uh, probi prebiotic for your gut. Um, so many defenses, mm -hmm. I guess, against all these disease. Um, and they, they fill you up in the right way and they help you to cleanse naturally. Yeah. So anything like bok choy, celery, broccoli, spinach, Anything green, green, literally yeah. anything green. Uh, but then you also have your blueberries. So a lot of your berries will be very high in antioxidant mm -hmm. vitamin C, which are natural defense. Uh, pineapple. Um, then you have your uh, salmon. So omega three. Your fatty fish. Those would be um, anti-inflammatory as well. Yeah, really good for your skin. Yep. Yeah. And any seeds like chia seeds, hemp hearts, walnuts. Mm -hmm. Any nuts, I always prefer raw nuts because they tend to be a little bit higher in your good omega-3 than the roasted one or other that would have different flavors with them. Coconut oil, flaxseed, uh, turmeric and ginger. Mm -hmm. So stepping out of the, 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 the oil for a second, but some herbs are actually very beneficial for anti, to be anti-inflammatory, um, digestive system and all that stuff. Plus they taste good. So food doesn't have to be bland. Yeah. Um, green tea. Yes. It's also another one. A lot of antioxidant in it. And beets. Also excellent for circulatory system and your veins, mm -hmm. arteries. Uh, magnesium deficiency, I know doesn't help uh, for inflammation. inflammation. <laughs> <laughs> it is Friday. Yeah, it is Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I think we repeated too much, um, but that can also not help. So having either, um, and all the foods that I mentioned, like especially the nuts, all have uh, more magnesium too. So, mm -hmm. but sometimes maybe a supplement might be recommended in some cases. Mm -hmm. And talking about supplement, um, I found like obviously have vitamin C. I, people know vitamin C; it is an antioxidant, so that's really good. Uh, like I. Like for people, my clients, especially the client that comes for skincare, I'm all about like antioxidant coming from vitamin C. It's brightening. It's good for your skin. But when you ingest it internally, it's good. It's the same properties from the inside. It's super important. Then you also have like vitamin E that would regulate, um, you know, the, your oil content. Same thing from the skin, from inside. Um, omega-3 like you said vitamin D for me those are really uh, important mm -hmm. supplement that you should be taking internally like that will really help inflammation from the inside to the outside because like in general people are not having enough omega-3 mm -hmm. like especially we live in Canada our lifestyle the way it works like we're, we're lacking of the the omega-3 and the vitamin D and um, do you have any other supplement on top of that that you would recommend yeah if there's anything that the food can cannot provide enough we do have the bend yeah. here i uh, find that's that's a really really good uh, supplement so one of them is the actual omega-3 and it does have your vitamin d into it it does have a few extra things for the skin such as your gla mm -hmm. your lutein and your zigzantin yeah <laughs> it's hard to pronounce uh, but 
very anti-inflammatory, uh, very good for the skin, helps with moisture, help with elasticity, reduce wrinkles. Um, and I find like those ingredients will also help your own body to protect protects itself against the UV rays yeah, from the sun. sun. Right. Yes. So still it, need to use an SPF. Yes, you still need, yes, yeah. But it does help quite a bit mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Because like side effect like pigmentation, especially pigmentation, like it's you know, your 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 body have a hard time fighting against it. So like supplement like that would actually mm -hmm. help. I know for me when I've been using it, I used to have like redness around my nose yeah. and that reduced quite a bit and the moisture, although I drink tons of water, that made such a huge difference yes. to to keep the, the moisture in there. Yeah, Ben is actually have like a Health Canada claim, so that means it's proven because all their supplement and uh, skincare here at Sparkle are all um, like medical grade uh, products, so that means that they go through uh, Health Canada and the they're really the uh, the claim that they have are actually researched documented so it, they're not claim that marketing claim that you would see at the drugstore they are actually like let's say Ben have been to studies showing and proven that it really reduced inflammation so redness and protect like your own protection to the sun and all those so same thing for like our vitamin C that we have in Vivier like it's 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 proven like the grade is actually like you know mm -hmm. document and research. potency enough Important. yes i find there's a lot of product out there that may claim to have this or, or that but maybe it only contains a very small amount but because yes. it has a small amount they're allowed to put it on the label mm -hmm. but maybe that's not the amount that's required yeah and a lot of the antioxidant ingredient because they are antioxidant they oxidize really really easily mm -hmm. okay so as soon as you open your container or as soon as they see the sun or as soon as they get in contact to something else they lost their potency like vitamin C is the greatest uh, example of it as if you put vitamin C in like a clear content like you, it get oxidized right away if you uh, mix your vitamin C with maybe a cream or any kind of oil it you know it react with the oil or maybe it's just gonna stay at the surface mm -hmm. of your skin it doesn't go anywhere That's why it's dark. so yeah dark containers like usually like it, and they're usually in form of a serum or an isolate way and um, that's you know that's that's stuff that's really important when you start to invest and do research and supplement in skincare any other supplement that you may think that would help um oh yes bend sorry. also yeah i guess it's, it would be the sister i love yeah. these two together synergy is awesome but this one is a collagen supplement so and it comes from fish scale so typically most hydrolyzed collagen we'll see is typically from beef yeah um, but this one will be from fish um, and it is uh, really good for your gut as well. Mm -hmm. And it does contain lysine, which I've been told is good for um, for sauvage. Oh, oh, I don't know what it is in English. I don't know what for sauvage is. Sore? Anyway, cold sore? Cold sore. Cold sore. So lysine yeah. apparently is very good for that. Uh, and have uh, silicon, which is a high antioxidant yes. as well. And then of course you get your vitamin C again as well mm -hmm. in there. So again, that synergy is really cool. We do have other... Uh, yeah, that product's pretty cool. So it will... That product helps with stim like the creation of the collagen, right? Mm -hmm. So it activates your collagen. Yeah. Uh, and what's in it, it, there's a lot of B vitamins. I won't name them all, but they're in there. Mm -hmm. uh, calcium, magnesium, potassium. And then you have your property blend, which makes this company what it is. Yeah. Uh, you have your coenzyme Q10, your alpha lipoic acid, uh, spiritic acid, reishi mushroom. Uh, citric acid and pink Himalayan sea salt and you get your AC11, your creatine, etc. So all those long words to say that if you research them all, which I did and we both yeah. did, uh -huh. um, to really figure out what it is, they're very at the top end of the spectrum of antioxidant. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, follow the directions on that one. So this is your collagen activator. Another one is the skin defense. Yeah. Uh, for environmental and hormonal uh, detox. In this one, you'll have your um, um, acetylcysteine, <laughs> carbon, glutathione, which is a, a very, very strong uh, antioxidant. Glutathione mm -hmm. is, I think, everywhere in all the research lately. Um, sodium thiosulfite, or MSM, butyrate silica, my goodness. Anyway, it's, it's 
again, oh, yeah. another uh, super, super, you can literally research each single one of them um, and the quite strong as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so those are really the product that you should start by, you know, if you start treating your, your health from the inside out, I think they're great products. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna quickly start talking about the skincare when it comes to inflamed skin. So how would you notice, am I in, in, inflamed? Like, you know, is it a problem that you have? So obviously redness, broken capillaries, uh, sensitivity, acne, those are all signs that your skin is fighting something. So you need to put ingredient on your skin that really will calm uh, the inflammation. And sometimes um, when you're, you're applying the product that are not designed for your skin, they will you know, action to it or make your skin even worse. worse, okay? So if, let's say I have, I don't really have a sensitive skin, but if I had tendency to be sensitive, if I start putting um, alcohol or um, mm. maybe like some kind of like salicylic acid, or um, those are all ingredients that will create some inflammation for sense some skin type and I, I see that on my client usually that have acne okay so they they go to the drugstore or they go somewhere that maybe the people are not really educated about it and not oh salicylic acid is awesome for acne but yes for acne but if that acne is coming from inflammation caused by your diet, putting salicylic acid on top of everything will not help it. It will just create more inflammation. So that's why like first before you start you know researching or buying whatever I see, make sure that you meet with someone that knows a little bit more about like what's going on inside of your body before you start applying like crazy products. Mm -hmm. But because yeah, the right product will, you know, you'll restore the protective barriers mm -hmm. of your skin because you know, that's how your body heal itself. Improve the immune repair, the skin nutri the, the ability to absorb the nutrient, um, to restore the thin the thin the thin, the thin dermis, because with aging the dermis get thinner and thinner, more sensitive. So you need to find product that will create rebuild that thickness. Normalize the oil. Same thing. If you let an example, you apply moisturizer on your skin, your body doesn't produce the right amount of oil anymore, and that create like a almost like a yeah. Your body doesn't need to do it. So you produce more oil, more breakouts, more all of that. So it's important for that hydration, uh, firmness, and like I said, with the right antioxidant skincare, you will really help your skin protect itself from the, the stuff, uh, the, the sun, sorry, and just like the like pollution outside and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So the key ingredient, like in all skincare, um, you need to look at some key ingredient. And my favorites are definitely like vitamin A. Vitamin A is an ingredient that's an anti-aging ingredient. So I'll see a lot of my client that comes for inflamed skin that also want the anti-aging process, the property of it. But you need to be careful because let's say that you already have like an inflamed skin and you start applying like a retinol on top of it and you're applying that retinol too often or maybe a retin-a or a retinoid or something like that um you're you know you're creating just more inflammation on your skin so if you there's some vitamin a out there that my favorite would be definitely calm from uh, osmosis it's a it's a line that's really designed for a uh, sensitive skin um, they have like the, rit the retinol dehyde in it in a, a stable uh, way because it can be really unstable mm -hmm. if it's not done properly. And vitamin A and retinol is the same, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, For like sure. a retinol is a, like a derivative, a, a, yeah, derivative. A, a vitamin okay. A. Like retinol, retinoid, retinol dehyde, that's all like a okay. vitamin A. It's just the, the potency. Different form. Yes. Yeah. Four. Okay. And this, the the speed at which it's uh, imp the skin uh, okay. turnover. Yeah. Right. Because that's kind of what vitamin A does. It makes your derm become your epiderm. And depending on which one you're using, some will do it faster. Some will do it slower. Um, some will make your skin sensitive to the sun. Some doesn't. So there's like a. So you need to use the right level of. You need a specialist to tell you. Yeah, like exactly. My <laughs> and then uh, you have like ingredient like a willow herbs. I love that mm. that thing for like people that have acne because it, it is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. Like it's a really really good ingredient. Then uh, I really like the sorry my 
English, no? niacinamide. Um, it's really like there's um, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, but it really uh, helps for the skin pigmentation in general in a more natural way because um, the gold standard for pigmentation would be like the hydroquinone, but that can create inflammation also. Oh, that's in there. Oh, perfect. So that product will help for the pigmentation. Mm -hmm. Um, there's tons of different ingredients also like vitamin C that's another one so maybe you're you love vitamin C but you're using a concentration of your vitamin C that's too high like you're going at like 20% um, will it's not good so you should have like a lower percentage of vitamin C uh, and maybe combine it with vitamin K that's a really good good for circulation in blood so those are it's it's hard for me to tell you exactly what to do but those are kind of the, the thing that you need to be careful and you know when you repair your skin and all that then you'll be able to maybe have like a retinol or have like higher percentage of vitamin c and you know like yeah because your skin gonna be thin, thicker and less sensitive and is that something that you could someone get like and through a consultation here like for example if they come in for with a consultation give you roughly an idea of the better product for you for your type of skin and that sort of thing yes definitely you'll come and we'll do a complete assessment of your lifestyle right because sometimes even when you do the consultation sometimes we realize that yeah even because usually those clients will come here because they have retinas sensitive they want to have the laser treatment right away <laughs> Right, but when I start doing laser treatment, or we're creating more inflammation in your skin, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because laser or any kind of treatment, a medical facial, like you know, microneedling, all that, we are creating an injury in it's your very skin. Invasive. It's invasive. We're creating an injury, and we're expecting your body to heal itself to give you the result that you're looking for. But if I'm dealing with a, a skin that's already inflamed, that's already lacking of the nutrients, dehydrated, that's already like congested, we're not, we're, you're not going to get the result that you're looking for. Right. So that's why when we do consultation, we don't just, oh, you have red skin, let's do an IPL. No, it's not how it works. I'm like, okay, why do you have redness to begin with? And maybe I can help. Maybe you need to mm -hmm. see them first. Me, you, know, you know, some people, they can go into the laser treatment right away, but that need to be assessed before. Right. We can't just jump into an IPL treatment without asking why you even have redness and sensitivity to begin with. Mm. And that's why the consultation is important. Yeah, and you want to make sure that whatever money you spend becomes an investment and yeah. uh, in that in you get results that you want to see long term. So you mm -hmm. don't want it just a quick fix because otherwise if, if the lifestyle isn't there, the right food doesn't come in, it's only a matter of time before things go back to where they were. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what I had to say about it. Uh, if you are a Sparkle member, we did create it like a like a sheet, a PDF with all the the food mm -hmm. that uh, you should be eating um, to help inflammation and just you know an anti aging diet. I would say so. You'll you'll just go on the Sparkle Lounge area, download your guide, um, and that can be mixed and matched with the actual meal plan that's there so depending on your goal if you're trying to lose weight or just maintain build whatever uh, you, you'll find on that guide all the food divided into category like what would be the best protein what would be the best fat the, the best um, carbs and all that but they all have in mind the anti-inflammatory anti-aging um, mm -hmm. And we didn't really talk about water, but oh, yes, drink yes. Tons, tons and tons of, of water. water. But throughout the day, you don't need to drink a whole lot in one no. yeah. sitting. Uh, drink it throughout the day, and I highly recommend three to four liters for your gut and your skin, personally. Um, but throughout the day, you don't yeah. need to drink it all. No more than a, even a liter an hour is, is a little much. Yeah. Some. So spread it through the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you think about it, you just need to have six bottle of 500 ml and you're done. You're done. Yeah. See? Okay. That covered. <laughs> so talk to you soon. Bye.